All right, uh, Scott Hoffman here with motocross.com, uh, along with uh, Dustin Hoffman. Uh, no relation to myself, and uh, no, he will not be at the Oscars on Sunday. Uh, we're out here at Elsinore Motocross Track riding the 2012 KTM uh, Factory Edition. This is a bike that uh, Dungey's riding, or actually a production bike that's Dungey's riding. And these are the bikes that's going to be only 400 available this year. And uh, we got a chance to ride one of uh, only a couple bikes available to the media this year. Okay, uh, Justin, what do you think of the motorcycle? Um, I really like the factory edition. It was really comfortable right away. Uh, the power is good, pulls forever. I was comfortable, turns good, everything is good. So did you feel like Dungey when you were out there? Yeah, especially since I had the number five. Okay, now you got a chance to ride the 12 standard SXF model. Uh, what did you notice the difference between the two bikes? The standard edition was really good, also really comfortable, and um, it just, for that bike, the standard kind of pushed out of the corners a little bit. It was a little more hard to keep down in the corners. And the factory edition, it just stayed in the corners, cornered better, tracked better, the power stayed longer. It was all around factories way better. So do you feel really blessed to get a chance to actually ride a bike that only a few people have ridden uh, in this country? Yeah, it's really cool, but now I'm going to be sad whenever I go home and ride my bike. Yeah, myself too. It's like I really like the factory edition. It's a fun bike to ride, definitely more aggressive and it really likes to be ridden harder, a lot more uh, top-end hit, whereas the, the standard model is a little bit more torquey down below, but more of like a, a lazy man's motorcycle, where this bike is a lot lighter feeling. Although, what about, tell us about the feel of the motorcycle, since it's not, it's phys not physically lighter, but how does it feel on the track? Um, the standard, or the, uh, the factory edition feels really good. In the corners, it's nimble, it, it's easy to ride. You don't have to think about turning the bike, it's there. Uh, the power is crazy. The handling's good, it feels light in the air, throwing some big whips. It's a little bit undersprung for a big fat guy over 200 pounds, but uh, for a light uh, young guy that's like 160, and he can hammer that bike. Whereas, uh, you know, I really liked how light it felt, you know, quick, easy turning. What I noticed the most was the en it's engine braking, how easy the bike goes into the corners and really sticks and uh, really tracks its way through the corners. What do you think on that? Yeah, the, the factory edition, the motor is so smooth. like. Braking, engine braking, everything's so smooth. The power delivery smoother, all around smooth. Engine braking and acceleration's 10 times smoother than the 12. All right, yeah, we only got uh, basically, you know, half a day to a day riding by the time we got done photos and everything like that. So it's not like in a full extensive test, but we got a glimpse of what this bike is and, uh, and, the, and the few people who actually get a chance to own one of these things, uh, they're gonna be really happy with the motorcycle. And I mean, it's not changing the world and lighting the world on fire. It's just a really good motocross bike. I mean, it's it's different uh, than uh, the standard 12, uh, but it's plenty competitive, if not more competitive than a lot of the Japanese bikes out there. So I'm Scott out here with Dustin at uh, Elsinore, and uh, we got to ride a bike you didn't. So uh, take it easy. Thanks a lot from motocross.com.